free your mind. My motto in life is free your mind and uh, free your mind and your, and your ass will follow. <laughs> Which is like funkadelic. Free your mind and your ass will follow. That's like, that's kind of like the mantra. Mm. Yeah. Peach color skies reveal a sunrise Two lost angels discover salvation Don't you wish we could run away The worst thing I did as a kid? I mean, maybe fist fights, but that's like, that's a part of, you know, I think every kid gets into fist fights, you know, it's just, that's a part of growing up. I don't think I was, I was a pretty good kid, man. I was a pretty good kid. I was afraid of like my mom, <laughs> yeah. So I didn't want to do anything bad growing up, but um, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing abnormal. I didn't like light anything on fire or like, cherry bombs, you know, in the toilets. Like, I wasn't that rambunctious, I guess. I was I was pretty chill. And like, happy-go-lucky growing up, yeah. Coming from a, um, you know, divorced family, um, I would say please, please put your differences aside and make sure that you spend time with your children. And that goes for both sides of, you know, the husband and the wife or the or the father and the mother. You know, I just, I would encourage, it's something very dear to my heart, you know, um, that, that parents do stay in their children's lives. And, and unfortunately, it's more fathers that don't, you know, the children stay with their mothers. It's just, it happens that way more often than not. But I would just say like, for the fathers, like, you know, do everything you can to spend that time because it really, really goes a long way. And for the mothers, like, please don't make it so hard, you know, put the differences, the personal differences aside and, and put your children first because it really, it really affects, you know, how productive and how positive thinking, you know, the child will grow up to be. All relationships require work. You know, I think people forget that there's like maintenance and there's like time that you need to spend with anyone that you love to, to that shores up the relationship, you know, and that, and that keeps everyone feeling absolutely comfortable and, and honest and transparent, the things that, you know, real relationships require. So I just think it's just like remembering that it takes work, man. And there's compromise and there's, you know, there's highs and lows. It's not always going to be perfect, but respect is like a huge thing, you know, and 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 understanding that it's it's an ongoing process and an ongoing growth. Yeah.